Hey, what's up, guys? So, we're back after just a week. Um, we were here last week to do John's truck. We got that done and made 544 on pump gas, 600 and something on ethanol. So today, actually, what we're here to do is we're, we're starting our Gen 3 testing back up again. Uh, we've got the CRP Stage 4 turbos, but we recently added the new SPD downpipes, uh, CATA downpipes. We added the Cobb Redline intake, which is an amazing carbon intake if you guys haven't seen it. Uh, we'll get some video over here shortly, but that intake is awesome. Uh, we've also added the k &N boost tubes. Now, currently, those are the only options for boost tubes at the moment, but I'm hoping Cobb gets uh, their, their version. Also, AMS may get their version. Uh, CVF may get theirs, but for the meantime, we're testing the k &N boost tubes. So, I'm not going to make any tuning changes. Last time we were on the dyno, I think the truck made 545 wheel horsepower, 530-something torque uh, on E85. It wasn't a big enough bump for me to really prove anything it made like 20 more horsepower and even that 20 more horsepower was due to us taking the top off the intake so there's major restrictions for sure in the stock setup with bigger turbos but today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start the truck up and do a first hit see if it makes any more than it did before if not then I'm gonna start into the changes but I noticed that in stock form stock exhaust stock intake with the bigger turbos the truck made 22 psi and that was it it, it couldn't pull in any more air and it couldn't exhaust any more air so Hopefully the Cobb intake does a little bit better with drawing it in, which I'm sure it will. It made, this intake made 700 horsepower on our Gen 2 uh, to the wheels, so it's at least capable for that. But the exhaust side of things, we haven't really tested yet. So we're gonna get in here, we're gonna test that and see how the truck does. So we're shooting today for 600 horsepower, uh, 625, something like that to the wheels. Uh, that's our goal, so let's go. So we just got done doing the first pull, no tuning changes at all, and the truck made 577 wheel horsepower and 580 foot pounds of torque. So it picked up 32 horsepower with no changes at all. That would be the intake, the boost tubes, and the downpipe. I'm gonna overlay the graph to see if we picked up any more spool off, off the boost tubes and the intake and the exhaust. Um, I'd, I'd you know, venture to say we would, but 577 horsepower with no changes, that's great. So we're gonna start to turn it up now to see where it goes from here, but I'm happy with, with that, that's, that's awesome. 32 horsepower with no changes at all. So let's see if we can crack 600s. Okay, so we're about five, six pulls in, and power is sitting at 590 wheel horsepower and 590 torque. So I'm gonna see if I can get boost up in the higher end. That should raise power in the top end and keep torque relatively flat. So a few more, a few more logs, few more revisions, and I think we'll get there. It's also blazing hot in here, so that doesn't help. But we have some ice water that we're spraying the intercooler down with. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep chugging along and see if we can make more power. Okay guys, so after about 16 pulls, we went ahead and finished up. Um, the truck did excellent. It did exactly what I was hoping for it to do. It made 622 horsepower and 603 foot-pounds of torque. So 
now we're gonna go out and test it on the road. Um, I want you guys to hear how it sounds with the stock uh, cat back, but with these SPD catted down pipes. I like it, it's loud. Um, you can hear the turbos a little bit. Uh, you can definitely hear more intake noise with this Cobb Redline intake. And again, I can't believe how nice this thing is. It's so, so light, uh, it looks great. I love it, it's awesome. Um, the boost tubes seem to do well. I'll go ahead and overlay a stock chart along with the, uh, the bigger turbo chart. That way you can check out the spool data as well. I think that's important for you guys to see. Um, the turbos feel great. So it spools fast, um, it makes nice peak power redline like we want, um, but I'm really happy with it. 620 horsepower on E85 is awesome. So I'm gonna end up getting this truck back here on the dyno on pump gas. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's gonna make probably 525 horsepower. That's typical on pump gas. About the limit you want to run on 91 octane. Um, but I'm really happy with the results. So uh, let's take this thing out on the road and see how it does real quick. One thing I like to point out too is after you uh, finish dynoing and everything, um, on a roller dyno you're gonna get these weird errors here, and all this stuff ends up going away as you drive. So it's not a worry, but. Some people ask me after they get off the dyno, like, hey, what's going on? And yeah, it's just all these all these little errors will go away. The steering wheel will end up feeling uh, real hard and stuff, but uh, all that stuff goes away. I like to see boost air to fuel ratio, uh, ignition timing. I like to see charger temperatures. CRP turbos to the stock inlet. Um, I know Garrett makes a bigger bigger inlet and that helps provide even more airflow. But for now this is all we have available. So it definitely feels better. It definitely is a lot more responsive. I don't feel a spool difference um, over the stock turbos. It feels great. I also wanted to mention another thing. So when you add more power to a vehicle, there's a, a certain point where you add too much than what the braking capacity is made for. Uh, Tyson hit me up from Hammer, Hammer Built. Tyson, thank you. He hit me up a couple weeks ago and said, hey, I want you to try these brakes. And we got them put on. And man, what a huge, huge difference it is over stock. The brake pedal feels solid. There's no more plushy, plushy play to it. Um, I know it comes with the, the kit comes with stainless lines. Um, it's a very attractive kit. They're Willwood brakes. They feel great. They, I highly recommend them to anybody who's running like an E50 stage two E50 tune. Um, the, the stopping power is awesome. We uh, we hadn't driven this truck in a week or so, and I got in it, and I'm like, man, something feels different. And it's funny because the only thing that had changed at the time were the brakes. And so I text Tyson, I was like, dude, these things are awesome. They feel great. So those of you who are looking for brakes, they're Willwoods. Um, hit up Tyson at Hammerbilt and he can get you set up with them, but they really, really feel really good. I'm super happy with this. So the truck's making 620 horsepower, 600 torque, flat torque curve. Um, we've got brakes now, so we're able to stop a lot better. Um, it's at a good spot. I like the truck, it's at a really good spot now. We're gonna hope for bigger turbos soon. Um, I, wanna, I wanna push that 700 horsepower mark again on, on the stock block, see how it does. But this is just, it's a great setup. Like I said, spool is very, very close to stock. I, I can't tell a difference. So, I mean, I'll have to do some more testing on the street, but it feels good. I'm really excited with it. it. Looks like we met our goal for today. The goal was 600 horsepower to 625, and that's exactly what we did. So now that we have tested the bigger turbos, now that there's gonna be a viable option for another, you know, further upgrade path um, over stock, my stock turbo is making about five, 500 to 520 on E85, uh, this is going to make another 100 horsepower. So again, to sum up everything, I have ID150 injectors, I have the Cobb Redline intake, Cobb Redline or the regular intake, won't matter. Um, I have the SPD catted down pipes, the K&N boost tubes, and the Cobb front mount intercooler. And that's it. 
Super, super simple mod list. Oh, and the CRP stage four turbo, those are important. Don't forget that. Uh, but that's it. That's really all it's taken to get this far. Um, at this point, I'm, again, looking for bigger turbos. So I know CRP usually offers a stage five set. Uh, those will probably be coming out soon. I'll talk to Andrew over there and see if I can get a stage five set and we'll continue the testing. But for now, it's, it is what it is. It's making good power, feels great, and torque is safe. So thanks again, guys, for everything. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. See you in the next one.